Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Hello Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechabadash. And of course, once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. All right. Salutations also go out to the fellow Aki that are out there on the highways and byways. All right. Putting in the work. All right. <clears throat> Spreading the truth throughout the four corners of this earth, trying to wake up the remaining hopeful elect. All right. Uh, once again, this is not mom with the DC camp. Uh, hey, what do you see now? It's, we're in a presidential election year. All right, things are heating up. Uh, New Year start off with a bang. All right, it's actually been getting worse ever since. So this should be an interesting uh, time when it gets warm here, starting here in the next week or two throughout the summer. Hey, there may not even be an election. One can only hope. All right, because desperation is, see is uh, <clears throat> seeping in with these uh, these Edomites. All right, these so-called white people. All right, the elites definitely, but all the rest of them are feeling the squeeze. All right, all right. As far as the economy goes. Everybody's getting it, but hey, Jake has been dealing with this <laughs> throughout, all right? Uh, but yeah, you're going to see a change here coming up. But for this video, we're going to talk about these people that want to carry the water for either party. Of course, we at Great Millstone, we're not about any of it because it's all a game to these people. They're twisted. They're vile. They're sadistic. They're wicked. All right? This is a game to them. We keep trying to tell you uh, in regards to Scripture, that's Revelation chapter uh, 13, verse 11. Let's get it real quick. Uh, people are being played, especially Jake, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's a sick, twisted game. You go into the Maccabees, second Maccabees, all right, because uh, it was them, all right, as the ancient Roman Empire that started this new way of rule, all right. This is the second beast, as it talks about. It says, verse 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. You got this two-party system here. All right. And Jake has been on that Democrat plantation, the majority of Jake. All right. But it doesn't matter because as he's going to demonstrate in this video, you're both being played. It doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and roll the video for time's sake. I don't want to ramble here. All right. Because he's going to go in on the Hodge twins. This is the amazing Lucas. You know, uh, <laughs> wow, here we go. Here we go again. Oh, my goodness. So when it comes to black conservative men, I have a theory, okay? I have a theory, and I definitely believe this theory pertains to the video that I'm going to discuss. And that theory is, is that when it comes to white Republicans, they will always put up and promote black cucks. That's, 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 that is my theory. They are always promoting, as far as stereotypes, of black men, of black people in general. And they don't mind that as long as they stay on the narrative, as long as they stay on, stay on code. Because let's think about this. Kundus Owens. Kundus Owens, if she were to say anything outside of the script that she's given on a daily occurrence, what would she be considered? Loud, rude, arrogant, uppity, right? Just obnoxious. The typical stereotype that many of the white Republicans have tried to make black women. Loud and rude, loud black women, angry black women. That's what she would be considered. But because she promotes what they want to hear, she has a halo around her. She's insulated from those attacks. But as we can see, the moment she steps out a little outside, boom, she gets a reality check. She gets a wake-up wake call that, hey, 
You're not one of us, all right? The only reason we allow you in the house is because you do what needs to be done around the house. Exactly. That doesn't mean you are a guest in the house. You are very much a stranger in the house. If you look at, let's say, some of the black men in, in the conservative sphere, uh, Tatum, for example. Tatum doesn't speak very well. He's inarticulate, right? He's not very intelligent. But they'll allow that because this man will, will say what they want him to say. Even though he may fumble words and everything, he'll say what they want him to say. The moment that he steps outside, he'll get a reality check. You look at black conservative perspective, really doesn't speak well, right? Miss Number doesn't know the English language, not even from the country. He's an immigrant. But as long as he says, and he's not very as you know, prominent like the other individuals, but he's, he's trying to get there, right? He's trying to rub elbows with other individuals, even though he's just, he's not really good as far as camera work, as far as personality, he's just dumb. It just is what it is. But that's what they promote. That's what they like to see. If you look, for example, Hodge twins. Hodge twins, not very intelligent. They're, they're mainly the minstrel show of, of politics. That's what they are. They are tantamount to, uh, I forgot his name. Who's the chicken eating dude? I forgot his name. The chicken eating dude of, of politics. That's what they allow them to be. There is no one in the political arena of, 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 of Republicanism, of conservatism, that is black, that is taken seriously. No one. All the serious candidates are white. Whether it's Ben Shapiro, whether it's Tucker Carlson, Sean Handy, many of the pundits are white. Megyn Kelly, those individuals will always be top tier. They will always have these sambos, these minstrel shows that they bring in to pad their numbers. They're, as far as their, hey, my one black friend. Well, my one black friend says this. They always have that, but it's only, from what I've seen, it's only exclusive to black Americans. They do that. They don't do that with Asians. You name me one Asian that they, you know, that's promoted on the right, that's talking ill of Asian people, or saying, hey, you know what, Asians, we gotta do better, all right? We've become lazy. I haven't seen that. You, 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 show, you show it to me. Name me a, a Hispanic that's on the right, that's as prominent as those individuals. They're not. Hell, the, who do we have? We have Rob Bushy Smith, once again, effeminate. Never a, a masculine individual, right? Always effeminate, always uh, uh, Why is that? Poor, poorly spoken, always dumb. You can look back at even some of the other individuals. Uh, uh, what, what, who's a, a king face, right? Uh, you know, rest in pits, king face. Once again, get to it. everything they hate, tattoos, ignorant, loud, all this rap, oh, I do good, uh, right? All the culture that they despise, but because that simpleton said what they wanted, to, what wanted him to say, they applauded, applauded, brought him in. Absolutely, absolutely, this is great, come on, come on. So I want you to understand that they do the same thing that the, the, the white liberals do on the left. Because white liberals, what they'll try and do is to promote as far as the alphabet within the community, where these mofos will actually hire them. They, so let's look at the look at the structure, okay? The left creates them, and then the right hires them. That's what we got going on, bro. That's what they got. We got a whole corporation, a whole manufacturing of of people who are traitors to their own group, to the country, to you know, to Americans. We'll say because we're all Americans, right? That's what they are promoting. That is what they are commercializing. That is what they are making a profit off of. And it's, it's really sick once you zoom back and see, well, if Kunis Owens was saying what she was saying, but with a left twist, right? If she was saying the same- And this is, this is what's so sad. Let me pause it there for a minute because you would think after all this time, after numerous examples of what happens to the people that they use and use up Jake will get it, but Jake doesn't get it. Why? Because Jake continues to envy the oppressor. And the scriptures are, are against that. This is, uh, oh man, this is Proverbs. What is these scriptures? I mean, mm. it's so much wisdom here. All right. Uh, <laughs> you'd be wise to take heed, but our people don't. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. This is Proverbs 3 and 31. <laughs> Can't get no plainer. It says, envy thou not the oppressor, 
and choose none of his ways. What are his ways? Let's go to, uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? Let's go to Proverbs 2, the previous chapter. All right. Let's go down to 12. This is, all right, it says, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Let's go into that forward. What is he talking about when he says forward? Hold on. All right. Let's see. Perversity. Is not this society perverse? That's the spirit most time. When you go into Isaiah 19 chapter, all right, it tells you that he put a perverse spirit amongst this land. All right. Proverbs 6 and 14. Forwardness is in his heart. He meaning perverseness is in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He soweth discord. This is what he does. He gets off on sowing discord. All right? Let's go into that real quick. Let's go into that discord. All right. Devises literally constructs as an artisan. This is an art to this piece of shit. It says discord, especially litigation. All right. Cunning is the talent of the weak and lazy. That's another way to describe this individual. But let's go. Let's see. Let's look up discord. All right. This is who's ruling over us. All right. Sorry about that. Discord, disagreement between people. All right. Lack of harmony between, well, that's in music. All right. Very simple to disagree. So he sows the seeds of this amongst the people, particularly Jake. All right. Let's go into Miriam. I don't want to take too long on this, but. I think you get it. It says lack of agreement or harmony as between persons, things, or ideas. Look at the state of Jake in Americas. All right. Active quarreling or conflict resulting from discord among persons or factions. This whole presidential election. All right. Things have become so. Uh, uh, what's the word I want to look? What I'm looking for here. Things have gotten so bad. Just to keep it simple that uh, you can't even uh, remain civil anymore, all right? And this is because of years and years and years. See, what they put out is coming back on them, to put it simply, all right? And this is, you know, a beautiful time for us because it's a sign of um, this place coming apart, all right? Here's some synonyms, conflict, uh, dissension, dissonance, division, uh-oh. Variance. Isn't that what... Was it in Matthew? Hold on. Uh, let's get that real quick. Isn't that what was uh, supposed to be a sign? Uh, 
See how these scriptures ring true? Matthew 10 and 5. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. All right? And in these last days, what, what else was promised? It says, what, idolatry, which is heavy, witchcraft. Oh, my goodness. This is what this country was set up uh, about. I mean, it's witchcraft. Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Second Ezra 15 and 16th chapter, right? All right. All right. So we can stop it there. But again, this is a sign of the times that we are in. And it's going to get really bad out here, folks. We keep telling you that, too. All right. But, hey, our people don't want to listen. So you just want to find out the hard way. All right. Back to the video. Fervent, the same, you know, hostility. She was saying stuff. But with the left talking about, oh, uh, liberalism uh, or conservatism, and we need more social programs, they would call her a libtard. They would call her, look, typical angry black woman. So I want you to understand they're trading these people like Pokemon cards. Yep. That's what they're doing, right? And it's really sickening. But I say that to transition into this video that I saw, because I want you to understand one thing that they are trying to do, and they are actively doing this, not even trying anymore, but they're trying to blame black people for anti-Semitism. I don't know if yep. you happen to catch that. They were very much trying to blame, look, black people are silent. They're, they're, they're attacking Jews. They're, you know, don't care about what's going on in Israel. They're trying to take the side of Hamas and everything. You, you know that, right? That you, I, I... No, as was stated from the apostles on down, we take the side of the scriptures, all right? Because both of you are fighting over land that's not yours, all right? It's ours. All right. So we don't have a dog in that fight. All right. So the thing is, uh, here they are, like he said, they're trying to link us because of hey, all the other tricks that they tried to play, you know, linking us, you know, to terrorists and, you know, that didn't go the way they expected. All right. So now we're supposed to be anti, you know, sounds. <laughs> when we are sims that's just ridiculous all right and that's the thing because nobody bothers to define what is well that word doesn't exist and that's not his name that was not the man actual man that existed all right and there are at least eight all right uh families of the man's actual name was shem all right, so what they've done, again, pulled a fast one on the world, and they've gotten plenty of, of mileage out of that fucking lie. That word doesn't even exist. But they're saying that they're the only ones, and that's not true. When it comes to, see, you got to understand, once you realize the game that they're playing, these people are Talmudists. They have nothing to do with the scriptures here all right and you people only because of your belief and that's in large part due to racism you choose to uphold that all that power all right dependent on your belief in that lie there's a reason that they scooped us up off from the coast west coast of africa because they knew who we were get us out of the way and you could later on play that role all right but here as you're going to hear the twins all right they're playing this you know they're doing what their paymasters are telling them to do all right so let's let's finish this out oh you know what well let me let them do this and then i'll read the rest of proverbs 6 i didn't finish that I covered videos on them uh many prominent uh, Jewish people trying to put that narrative out there. And I would argue they are using Kundus Owens to bolster that claim. Because there's this video by the Hines, and they say some real, real wild stuff. They're talking about, hey, you're acting like a Jew. Yeah. We're giving you $8 to enter the contest. Hey, hey, hey shut up! And you get 10 times the interest. You over here, you over here acting like a damn Jew. Man, I already told him that. What are you, a Jew now? <laughs> 
hey, um, you know, uh, the Jews keep on saying the Jews this, the Jews that. But what did they do? They took it from the LGBTQ playbook, the Democrat playbook, just label you um, a bigot. Yeah. The Jews are doing the same thing the LGBTQ does. That Steven Crowder was right about the Jews. Yeah, so well, isn't that a red flag for conservatives? Because I know conservatives, they be sucking Jews. Cock. Ooh. Steven Crowder tried to warn everybody about them damn Jews. <laughs> and I'm like, this is very, very interesting. Because I want you to understand, this is what I'm talking about as far as a cut. And at the end of the day, all of them, see, you have a divide amongst themselves. All of them are from the nation of Edom. The people pretending to be us, all right, and those that hate them amongst their own. <laughs> They're all of the same nation. ...within black conservatives is that they took the lead of Kundas Owens. They haven't said any of this. These aren't words that they, ideas that they came up with. They're just merely regurgitating and trying to reinforce Kundas Owens because Kundas Owens is the one that, you know, put them on game. Like, hey, I'll bring you all in. The Tatums of the world, the, the you know, uh, 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 Bushy Smiths and everyone. That's who they brought all in. So now they're trying to repay a favor. So these individuals are being led by Kundas Owens. So the whole conservative dynamic of the man being the head of the household, being the leader, that's all being shattered. But it's only being shattered by who? Black conservatives. Do you see any of these uh, uh, white women doing this to, to Tucker Carlson? Or Tucker Carlson doing this to Megyn Kelly? Do you see uh, Tucker Carlson? You know what? I'm going to agree with uh, Megyn Kelly. I think Megyn Kelly is a great... About, do you see Sean Hannity doing this to, to Laura Ingram? Well, I'm going to agree with uh, Laura Ingram. No. They have their structure up at the top. Men up at the top, win them next. Women next. Now, when it comes to black conservatives, when it comes to us, who they have? Who are they promoting? Black women. Think about that. That's the same thing, the same dynamic that the left is doing. Why? To cause a divide. Now, they got the, the, t uh, the, the twins. Divide and conquer. Simple as that. Let me finish off uh, Proverbs 6. All right. Uh, forwardness is in his heart. All right. Perverseness. He devises mischief continually. All right. He soweth discord, discord, that's part of that discord, right? Sowing division, all right? 15, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. All right, let's go to uh, Proverbs. All right, two, let's start at 12. Suddenly, he's going to be broken without remedy. There's no healing of that bruise. All right. Jeremiah 51, right? This place had been, America had been a golden cup. This is Proverbs 2 and 12. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. Who's the evil man? The wicked. The nation of Edom, the so-called white man. From the man that speaketh forward things. We just covered what that means. That's going into what? Perverseness, right? Who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness <laughs> of the wicked. 15. Whose ways are crooked and they froward in their paths. All right. <laughs> There's no way to get around it. These scriptures are always spot on. Who is it describing here? And our people continually, they, they, they continue to lust, all right, after the oppressor, after his ways, which is only going to bring death. Wow. It's the Coon twins, okay? Tap dancing and buck dancing uh, for Kundas. 
<laughs> and talking about the Jews and all this and how Steven Crowder and how Kundus Owens defended Daily Wire amidst the, the Steven Crowder allegation. Because he, he knows what them damn Jews are all about. And what did Candace do? She protected Daily Wire. She did. She did, man. She did. She protected Daily Wire. And look how the Daily Wire turned her back on Candace. What? I want you to understand that. I hope people caught that. They yeah, understand indeed. that this woman is two-faced. They understand that she was hired to be a, a white Jewish, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, attack dog. Yep. And they're acknowledging that Steven Crowder was right. But what happened? Kunda Owens defended the Daily Wire. So what? that right off the bat shows that this person has no integrity. They have no integrity. They're just a hired gun. They're an attack dog that's paid off of hits, off of bites. And yet they try and defend, oh, she's just, you know, she never said anything wrong against the Jews, you acting like a Jew and all this goofiness. Now, what do you think that's going to do? Hmm? What do you think that's going to happen? What stereotype does that reinforce? Because these goofballs, and a lot of them, they'll say all this Jews, right? But who's that go back on? Oh, look, see, black people are anti-Semitic. Black people hate Jews. Black people, see, they're trying to attack Israel. They're trying Now, if you think on God... Which goes to prove, all right, who is their ultimate target? It's Jake. They know who we are. All right, how many times, how many scriptures have we brought out? And how many times have those scriptures, all right, Coming, you know, what they are, the truth. It's all being played out right in front of your eyes, these prophecies. <laughs> wow. That's why two thirds of Jake, which is a very large number, and we all believe the majority of which will be women. All right. That's why that's there. That's greener. Pro-Israel. Trump is going to be associated with these individuals without having some type of backlash from media matters or any CNN, uh, whatever the outlet is, you're out of your mind. I just find it very interesting that they are now, how I see it, they're trying to shift the blame onto black people. That's what they are doing. Now, I'm not saying that th there isn't issues going on when it comes to, to the movies, when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to the, the you know, the films and music. Absolutely. I've said this before. But you notice, Kunis Owens is repeating everything that I've said. That you, you, you realize that. When I talk about, well, whose culture is this? This isn't black culture. And I've said this time and time again. Now, what is she coming out and saying? Well, there seems to be a cabal that's putting this out. You have to understand that she does not have a single original thought in her body, <laughs> ever, okay? What she does is she looks at what other people are saying and just regurgitates it. She's a talking parrot. That is all she's been for her entire life. It's just an attack bulldog for, you know, white Jewish people of influence. That's it. And she's moved from owner to owner to owner. So now she, she's without an owner, but she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> she doesn't know what to say because there's no script in front of her. So now she's looking at black media and just trying to regurgitate what they're saying to, to, to show them, hey, I'm not hostile, but she's not trying to pander to the community. You have to understand. I've said this before that she's not thinking about black people. It's not, has never been her audience, has never been her focus. But now she doesn't have to attack as ferociously as she was before because she was getting paid to do such. So I just, I don't know. Call me crazy, call me conspiracy theorist, but I find it very interesting how you have all these individuals talking, you know, ill of Israel and everything in the middle upcoming of an election. I just, um, I always try to look at, well, how are they going to try and blame this on us? <laughs> how, how, how are they going to try and blame this on us? And I think very much that these people are proxies. There's nothing more than Trojan horses uh, to, to the detriment of the community and us, uh, us, us as a collective. Exactly. Exactly. 
That's why you have to be careful. Now more than probably any other time, all right, about who is around you, who is around us, all right? Because these people are searching for a way. We've got to do something about these Israelites, all right? Because at the end of the day, we're the main threat, all right? Because we're bringing out who they are, who their biblical nationality is, that they are the wicked, and we're exposing their ways, and therefore them, all right? So this should be an interesting next six and a half months, all right? <laughs> Just saying. That's how I see this. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not I believe, look, look, you're way off on this, okay? This is some conspiracy theory. This has nothing to do with this. This just has to do, hey, they're waking up, Lucas. That's what's going on. Or if you can't believe, no, this has nothing to do with waking up. These people knew what they were doing when they got into this, okay? I hope you, I hope you understand. And by them acknowledging, oh, uh, you know, Republicans are a sucking Jewish blank, um, come on now. <laughs> come on now. That, that hasn't been, how long have we been saying this? But a hustle is a hustle, bro. A hustle is a hustle. Nonetheless, yeah. uh, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during Disagreement Day, which is typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on the screen. You call in, we duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think, what's going on here, whether or not this is, a, you know, trying to shift the blame on the black people or just giving them ammunition to further attack us and label us as anti-Semites. Uh, and subscribe to the channel and all oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing. She protected Daily Wild. And look how the day. There you go. What? Daily Wild turning her back on Candace. There you go. See, we're supposed to strive to be, well, first of all, <laughs> you gotta disconnect yourself from this world. All right. That's, hey, that's. You know, <laughs> uh, wow, you know, hold on, I don't lost my place, but uh, let's see, uh, let's go to, uh, let me see if I remember. And our people, all right, this is something that uh, Israel is prone to do, sadly, throughout its history, all right, forsake our power for worldly things, all right, let me see. Let's start at 12, Psalms 33 and 12. It says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Most High Yahweh and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. All right, so on. The amazing thing about all of this that we're going through, largely this has been self-perpetuating. All right. Over and over and over, all right? That's why we were discontinued in this captivity. This is why we were discontinued, all right, from our heritage. I said, blessed is the nation whose power is the most high Yahweh and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. It's not everybody, people. The Most High Yahweh looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men, 
from the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. 15. He fashioneth their hearts alike, he considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. And this is another thing that Jake, especially the two-thirds, does not understand. This is spiritual warfare as much as anything. You're not going to win it by force of arms, which is just what you're telling, what their the scripture is telling you. Uh, there is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. All right. These things were taken from us. When you go into Isaiah, the third chapter, this is what it's going into. All right. Uh, 17. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eyes of the Most High Yahweh is upon them that fear him. The Mo Jake has no fear. These churches are set up as basically, when you come down to it, uh, motivational speaking centers. All right? That's why they have to apply for this 501c3. You know, and they operate as a as a non-profit they get all that money to deceive you all right 18 behold the eye of the most high Yahweh is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy Jake again hopes in everything else politics we gotta vote Democrat them Republicans are racist not realizing both of them that's why I read Revelation 13 chapter off the top Verse 11. They both, the fox and the wolf, as Malcolm X put it. And that's so very true. They have their own way of dealing with us. Both of them hate us. The fox, the Democrats, and the wolf, the Republicans. 19. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. A whole lot of people are going to wish. All right. They're going to come looking for us when we're no longer out there on the streets. Because it just may click. Maybe those guys that looked crazy and sounded crazy on the street corners were right all along. Where they at? 20. Our soul waiteth for the Most High Yahweh. He is our help and our shield. Not Biden. Not Trump. Not any of these Edomites. Not any of these other nations. that strangely benefit more from America than the people that have been here for centuries that have been exploited murdered, raped, robbed tortured jailed, imprisoned continually have their wealth stolen you know you think of Job 15 I mean not Job um St. John, the 15th chapter, all right? <clears throat> Hold on. I want to correct myself. I don't want to, we don't like to do that here. Let's see. Uh, corrected misspoke Luke 16th chapter because that's what they're doing all right all these other nations they're allowed to set up in our neighborhoods all right you know licking the sores that represents you know because we can't get those loans and everything you know to you know if you follow the history and it's not hard to look up every time we've tried to be self-sufficient what do they do? They sabotage us. But that's enough. I'm not going to ramble any longer. As for this video, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, all these people are buck dancing and, and trying to get that, you know, that bag. And it's really sad when you break it down. You, you look at it from, you know, 
it, it really is. But with that, yeah, um, that's going to be it for this. Uh, you know, you have people that are going to stick up for this woman who is, like they said, she hasn't had an uh, original thought of her own. She was an attack dog for those racists. All right. And <laughs> it is what it is. So with that, once again, I hope whoever views this is edified. as what we do here at Great Millstone. All right, filter everything through the scriptures, current events, past, it doesn't matter. All right, because once you uh, examine secular history through the scriptures, all right, you come to find out that it was true and the scriptures are right. All right, even to current events, this is a living book and it prophesies even the future, which no other book does. So, with that, I want to emphasize also the power of prayer and fasting also, especially in the days to come. So, to the next video, Shalom.